conscious about our environmental footprint, this is gaining an important and growing concern for all businesses is really what is the green footprint left by the piece of equipment here. And in this regard, this line printer is actually really one of the most green technologies you can use for printing. Of course, it's an ENERGY STAR device, which means that it's in standby mode. It is using uh, only a fraction of electricity consistent with the ever-tightening ENERGY STAR standards. Uh, but there's a lot of pieces of equipment today that are becoming ENERGY STAR certified and they're focusing on that standby power reduction. But what they can't really do is focus on the operating. Now I know this looks like a, a fairly large piece of equipment and sort of your mind might think it uses a lot of electricity. But in reality, it actually uses only a, a very light load of electricity. Maybe, let's say, somewhere on order of magnitude when it's printing, about 350 watts, something like, uh, you know, maybe two uh, light bulbs, if you will. In contrast, a relatively small cut sheet laser printer that looks like it's kind of sleek and energy efficient is actually gobbling power at almost 70% higher rate. Uh, the problem is that the cut sheet laser printer uses uh, heat and pressure and, uh, and uh, things in, to ionize and fuse the image that actually draws a pretty astounding amount of energy to, to print every single image. So when you start comparing a 70% increase one technology with another over the life of the product, that turns out to be a pretty, difference, a pretty substantial difference in terms of the total energy consumed for the year. The second thing is uh, that we have to think about is uh, the amount of waste that you physically produce. Okay. Uh, when you look at the printer, and I've showed you the ribbon, we have a cartridge that's basically a plastic box and uh, some inked fabric. And when it's expended, you're really not uh, having that much of a problem disposing of this item. Uh, in contrast, a cut sheet laser printer has an assembly more like this. Now suddenly we're into all kinds of issues here. We've got mixed materials that are not suitable for recycling. We've got metals, we've got plastics, we've got different types of plastics. Uh, there's a still always some amount of unused toner powder in here, which is a fine particulate, uh, is a lung irritant hazard that uh, we have to be careful that it doesn't get out. Uh, some of these will have drums with various materials on the drums. This is a pretty bulky and complex and unpleasant thing to be discarded. Now, when I talked again about this being 30,000 pages and oftentimes this being only 10,000 pages, it suddenly becomes a proposition of saying, I'm going to replace one of these for every three of these guys. Suddenly, I have a big uh, disposable problem on the consumable end. As bad as that might sound, uh, we have an even bigger problem, which is disposing of the equipment itself. So, in a typical environment, a cut sheet laser printer, when it's really put to a business critical application, may have a life of only one, two, three years. Okay? They're generally plastic printers with a lot of parts that rely on precise friction and, and rubber and, and things that are fairly fragile. And in a demanding cycle where you're printing 100,000 pages a month, uh, high volumes, a million pages a year, it's not going to be uncommon that that printer is dead after two years. Okay? where a product like this can easily last 10, 15 years. We've had them lasting as long as 25 years out in customer applications. You take a printer that's going to last, say, 20 years versus one that's last two years. In the lifetime, you might have one of these printers versus 10 of these cut sheet laser printers that have to be somehow disposed of. And then when you're disposing of an actual print mechanism, now you've got even more e-waste issues going on there, and the differential becomes uh, quite huge. But let's even talk more specifically, uh, forget about the waste of the, the mechanism, forget about the energy savings, all important things. How about the paper itself? Whenever we talk about printing and we talk about the environment, the paper that we use becomes very, very important. One of the key benefits of a line printer is that it can survive with very, very high recycle content paper. Okay? Uh, but that paper provides two major challenges for anybody trying to use more of an office MFP or cut sheet laser product. The first problem is that recycled paper usually has a lot more particulates in it, uh, you know, wood chips and things like this. Uh, it's not as pure of a paper, and that, that impurity actually wears down the mechanism. Okay? So you start finding that your drums and things in the laser printer start suffering from premature wear because of the paper itself. That's if you can feed it at all. Okay? The second attribute uh, uh, of recycled paper is it can very often be quite limp. 
uh, or intentionally people will pick a very, very lightweight paper just to conserve the amount of uh, paper that is actually being used in the print process. And suddenly this light, limp paper cannot feed through the cut sheet mechanism and then will lead to jams and everything. And ultimately you won't even try to use it. So the cut sheet laser printer requires a fairly stiff, fairly refined, fairly new content paper versus the line printer that can print on virtually anything. Uh, uh, so suddenly you can find, uh, it's not uncommon to find these printers printing with paper that just is unimaginably poor in terms of what you would think of quality of paper. It's not that bright white, it's got a lot of chips in it, it's very limp, but this guy can chug it along all day long without any problems. And that really gives it between the e-waste, the longevity of the mechanism, the energy savings, and the ability to use high recycled content, uh, it really makes this